Wow. So what are we looking at here, so, Bob? Here's a collection of uh, vintage tube radios uh, from the 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, different makes, different brands. It's like the whole history of radio. Right the here whole history of radio. Once the center of the family home, these radios are quite literally the sound of nostalgia. Foster Hewitt, you know, listen, Hockey Night in Canada, uh, the war, you know. It's also the whole history of Bob's father's retirement. Pick up these radios, bring them home, and uh, then he'd work on them, uh, tweak them, maybe a new dial, maybe a new cord. Collecting these vintage radios was his hobby until he passed away 16 years ago. What are we looking at here now? Well, well this is my, the collection of my dad's plastic Bakelite leather and plastic radios. Now the family would like to share close to 200 of these classic radios with the rest of the world. We just want the best for these radios to go out and have somebody to, to share dad's love. And so they're all up for auction and each has its own unique story. This one is a junior commander made it's uh, all leather made made i believe in chicago and uh it's patented in 1929. they were yeah. really works of art back then weren't they oh yes yeah awards airliner 1940s relatively rare in canada it's called a rocket lamp and this is a very rare uh lamp radio in canada and this is metal here and uh, some of them only have like a broadcast channel, like local channels. They're just absolutely gorgeous and they work, you know. And once dad would get one back working, it became personal to him. And that's why Bob hopes the radios get new owners that love them as much. But he says he likely won't be able to be there the day they leave the house. I'd like to be, but... Uh... Sorry about this. It's emotional. Oh. Well, you can get a piece of this radio history through the online auction, which runs until Wednesday night. For a link, go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. Audra Brown, City News.